Hello everyone, and today we're going to be going over how to change out your engine oil for your Nissan Ultima. And this is going to involve changing out your oil filter, changing out your drain plug crush washer, as well as your torque settings. And we're going to go over every one of these steps today. And the products we'll be using for today, we have 5 quarts of 0W20, our oil filter, our car panel removal set, the funnel, our drain plug washers, an oil filter wrench, 14 millimeter socket with a socket wrench, we have a torque wrench, then we have our shop towels, a 7 quart drain pan, and then we have our jack stands and our service jack. So let's get started. And our first step before jacking up the vehicle, we need to apply the parking brake. And now we can roll in the service jack, and we're going to focus on the jack points in the front. And if you wonder where these are, these are also in your owner's manual, as well as the illustration you see before you. And we want to jack this up just so we can get under the drain pan. And got that pretty high. And now we can put our jack stand in place, make sure it's secure, lower the vehicle on it, and then we can pull out our service jack, and now we can work our way to the other side. And then I'm going to lower it down on this jack stand as well. There we go. And I'm going to leave the service jack in place just as a little bit of backup. Now let's make our way under the hood, and we're going to first focus on this oil filler cap right here. When I back up the camera, you won't be able to see it. And let's go and remove this oil filler cap. And this unscrews like a light bulb. It's very easy to get off. And a few turns. Very nice, and then we'll set that aside. All right, now we're ready to get down and dirty and get under the vehicle. So let's slide our oil drain pan under there. And then we'll grab our 14 millimeter socket and socket wrench. And let's go ahead and loosen up our oil drain plug. And see if I can get it in there. There we go, give it one good turn. And broke it loose. And the rest of it should come off by hand. Almost there. And there we go. And we didn't make too much of a mess on that one. So while the oil's drained, let's go ahead and remove the washer from the oil drain plug. And this should come off with your fingernails. If I can get my nails under there with the gloves on, I'm going to try at least. And it, it's loose, I just can't get my fingers under there. So I'm going to just take my knife and just that way I can pry it apart just to get my finger in there. There we go, now we got a gap. So it should come off fairly easy. And almost there. Do a little twist. Very nice. Now let's go ahead and grab one of our new ones. Definitely looks a lot different compared to the crushed one. So this side right here goes towards the oil pan. So I'll take my oil drain plug and insert it in just like this. It's going to match the picture. And then I'm going to turn it. It's going to be nice and snug. That's exactly what I look for. That's ready to be installed. And after about 15 minutes have passed, it looks like most of the oil looks like it drained out of the engine. So I took a cloth just to clean up the area before I install the plug. And we're going to go ahead and install this by hand. See if I can find those threads. Come on. There we go. Those are going in very easy. That's all good to see. And now we can grab our 14 millimeter socket and socket wrench, and we can go ahead and tighten this drain plug down. Now, you don't want to over tighten it. You just want to get it snug, just like that. That way, we can grab our torque wrench, and we can torque this down to 25 foot pounds. So I can see if I can do it without bumping into the camera. Uh, almost there. There we go. We just heard the click. Now it's torqued down to 25 foot pounds. And I'll just clean up the area one last time with the shop towel. And with the drain plug complete, let's work our way under the vehicle behind the passenger tire. And let's grab our trim removal tool and remove the fender side cover retaining pin. And all you have to do is get right up under it and pry it apart. And this should come right out. And I might have to do a little more prying. There we go. And we'll go ahead and set that aside. And with the retaining pin gone, now we can get access to our oil filter. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a turn. And, well, I'm going to try. Okay, that one's on there really good. So let's go ahead and grab our oil filter wrench and see if we can get a few turns just to loosen her up. So, yep, it's, she's moving. And there we go, it's loose enough. See if we can get my hand back in there. And there we go, we'll just take this off. Now this is going to make a mess, so just be prepared. This is not exactly the best location when they installed this thing. And there we go, we're going to let this drain out for a few minutes. So after a few minutes have passed, let's just clean up the area real quick with a shop towel. We don't want any dust or debris within the oil filter. And we're just about ready to install our brand new oil filter. So I'm going to grab this with my other hand and dip my finger in a little bit of oil because I'm going to apply a nice thin coat on this ring on the outside here. And you want to make sure it's nicely even distributed. Yeah, almost there. Come on. Very nice. Now it's all coated. And now we all have to do is move this cover aside and see if I can get the filter installed. And this threads right on the same way it came off. So, yep. And this thing started off really easy. And then once you make contact with the engine, you want to do an extra two-thirds turn. So I'm going to take a shop towel just so I can get a little better grip. And do one little extra turn. There we go. 
And of course, let's go ahead and clean up our excess oil. Unfortunately, based on its location, it made quite a bit of a mess. So grab your shop towels and just make sure there's no oil left behind. Now let's go ahead and grab our retaining pin that we took out earlier and let's go ahead and reinstall it. And this just pushes right in. So just line it up and give it a nice little push. And there we go, it's secure. And with everything complete there, let's see if we can get from under the vehicle and slide out just a little bit. Let's grab our old drain pan and try not to make a mess. And now we're ready to lower the vehicle. So let's go ahead and use our service jack, lift it up, go ahead and remove our jack stands, and then go ahead and lower the vehicle right back down. All right, we're almost done. So let's grab our funnel, and let's go ahead and add our 0W20 oil, and we're gonna add about 4.5 quarts. So let's go ahead and start with the first quart right here. Let me take the cap off. Now, if you're curious how much oil your vehicle takes, you can always look in the owner's manual in the very back. This one shows exactly how much it uses. So we have a four cylinder and it requires four and seven eighths quarts or 4.9 quarts. Now we're going to fill it up to four and a half because the oil filter is not filled. And then we'll go ahead and add the extra later on. So for this fifth quart, if you look at it, it has indication lines and we're going to use it just about half. So that's all we're going to use for this first iteration. And a little bit more. There we go. And now I'll grab a shop towel and go and remove the funnel. The whole idea is I don't want to make a mess. And now we can install our oil filler cap. And we're going to twist that right on, nice and snug. So before we start the vehicle, let's go and verify the oil level. So I'm going to take out the dipstick, wipe it off with a shop towel. Make sure it's nice and clean. And then I'm going to reinsert it back in the engine, if I can get it in there. There we go, let it sit for a second. Pull it right back out. And I'm going to move the dipstick in front of the camera, that way you can see what I see. And, yep, right there. So it's right below the high amount where the high dot is. That's good. That's exactly what we want. We didn't overfill it and we put just enough in there to get it started. So I'm going to put the dipstick back. And now we can start the vehicle. The whole idea is we want to let it run for about 30 seconds. This allows oil to circulate as well as the oil filter to be filled. And 30 seconds have passed. Let's go and turn it off. And now that there's oil in the oil filter, we can add the remaining amount of oil that is required. And it's about a third of a quart. So let's go ahead and insert our funnel. Now we'll grab that last little bit of oil, and yep, there we go. And then grab my shop towel again and go ahead and take the funnel out. That way I don't make too much of a mess. And we can reinstall our oil filler cap for the last time. And nice and snug. And now let's verify our level one more time. So we'll take the dipstick out, wipe it down with a shop towel, reinsert it, and let it sit for a second. Take it out one last time. And let's see if I can get in front of the camera without making too much of a mess. And see if I got the right angle. Right there, perfect. So that's about three quarters of the way full, right between the dots. That's exactly what we want. That's perfect. And with the oil levels looking good, let's go and start up the vehicle, let it warm up, and let's work our way under the vehicle because we're going to check for leaks. And this is going to be hard to see on camera, but I'm going to do my best so you can see what I see. And I'm looking at the oil drain plug. I don't see any drips there. And I looked at the oil filter. I didn't see any drips there as well, but you're not going to see that with the camera. So since everything looks pretty good, let's go ahead and release the parking brake and turn off the engine. And now for our very last step, all we have to do is dispose of the old oil. So you can use the containers the oil came in, or you can use one of these travel containers, which I use, and I just have it for convenience. So just use your funnel and fill this up without making too big of a mess. Now, if you're wondering where to dispose it, you can go to one of your local auto parts stores. In the very back, they have one of these containers where you can drop off engine oil, transmission fluid, hydraulic oil. And all you have to do is take your cap off your containers and pour it right down this drain. And that's all there is to it. And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe.